What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So this is the very final video as a part of the 30 day UI UX series and we're doing a review from the challenge from two days ago and you were able to pick from a list of 20 different topics. So over here, um, I have about eight or so, that's all I was able to get to. Um, just different revisions and these aren't full on revisions where, you know, I'm just refactoring the whole thing. I'll just pick apart, you know, certain parts that need to be addressed in each layout. So the first one's from El Diablo and this is um, obviously like a pet sort of UI that kind of just lists out different dogs and stuff. And the main thing that I wanted to adjust is this part. Um, and this is primarily because it feels like there's no direction here. It feels like this might be a button. Like whenever you take a sentence and you wrap it in like, uh, like what could be construed as a button, it could be a little bit confusing. It's boxy. Um, if you were to do this, I would definitely scale this down and add at least more white space around it. This, uh, and in center as well, it would make much more sense since it's literally centered in a page. But I would, I would opt to just to change it up, maybe into something that's a little bit more of a typical uh, approach like this. So I gave it a little bit of texture by adding um, a light background in the, uh, behind this stuff right here um, and really made the, the headline a lot simpler and larger, and as well as this, uh, this, this graphic right here. So it takes up like the same amount of space, but it just kind of, it, it kind of just flows better, essentially. Um, I did adjust the type right here. You see this is kind of bold and not quite as much line height, so I separated them out a little bit more. This part down here is fine. I kind of like the colors and everything that was applied. All right, so the next one up is from, well, S7AEX. And this is kind of like a Netflix clone kind of pricing page. And this is, you know, one of the AI generated ideas. And one thing that's kind of an issue here is this is, there's not a lot of contrast here and there's a lot of stuff happening here. You have high contrast strokes in between uh, the type. You have different elements that are bolded and not bolded. Um, I wasn't able to do a full on review, uh, a change to this, but I did make the contrast a lot better. So here's my variation and notice how it's a lot more simplistic. I got rid of those lines that separated everything and it's just easier to read. Um, if you compare these two right here, this seems like a little bit cluttered and washed out because of the lighter background, but now we've increased the, uh, the actual, you know, readability, the contrast and the type. Next up is Dennis. All right. So this is obviously a weather dashboard. The main thing that concerned me down here is the individual little cards. There is not much, uh, white space in between these. Also, I would say the positioning of the date kind of feels like it was just slapped on. There's no adherence to columns or rows. It's kind of just stuck right there. You could tell like this row would intersect with this right here. So um, more white space all around. And so I took one of these and just replicated it a few times. This is a better approach. Notice how now it's laid out a lot better. We have a row up here and then a two column approach right here. And there's also more white space around it. So if you take a look at this versus this, you can see it just feels a little bit more messy and a little bit more difficult to read the values and such, but just because it's laid out um, or how it's laid out. Another thing I changed right up here is like this right here. I don't even know what C would be. What is that? Is this for like a dark mode, you know, little switcher? I, I definitely wouldn't use gray because gray adjacent to other colors, I've talked about this a lot, just looks bad. So use white for that instead of just a gray. I also scaled it down and aligned it more properly up here with the search bar. You can see down here, this was off a little bit. Okay, next up is Sejoy. All right, so this one in terms of layout is pretty solid. I actually like it. Um, there's not much changes that I would make. However, it's kind of following one of those patterns that I'm not happy with, uh, in terms of panel colors. So the background is white with the core, uh, content being a darker shade. Essentially. I like to do the reverse. I like to take the background and make it at that, that, that very light gray and then make the panels on top white, because then that increases the contrast. It also psychologically, it just 
it provides focus and emphasis. It's brighter on the actual content as opposed to the background, which is, you know, a background thought, right? So um, that's all I did is I just adjusted the colors to make this stuff come out more. So it, it, it brightens up the layout in areas that make the most sense, but otherwise very solid. Next up is from Sajowski or something. Okay, so this one threw me off because when you think of like an Italian menu or an Italian restaurant in general, you don't think of bright green. And typically you don't think of uh, text and fonts that look like this. Like I would expect this type of green text font in like a game UI, not like an upscale, you know, Italian looking <laughs> restaurant. So what I did is I toned down the colors and also greatly simplified this area. There's a lot happening here and it's very difficult to kind of get, wrap your head around. Not very difficult, but it's cluttered. Um, so we can get rid of things like labels, like for instance, ingredients. We don't need to include that. We could just leave this. This is obvious, you know, this is self-evident. Same thing with price. We understand if we just put this here alone, that is the price. We don't need to be told that it's the price. So I got rid of these two and I simplified the colors. So here's what my variation look like. All right, like this. It's just much more toned down and I used more appropriate colors that are found adjacent in, you know, like bread, like the, 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 color, uh, the, the photographs next to it essentially. So see how much just easier this is on the eyes? in order to read and such. And this is really cluttered. So here's more of a macro view between the two. That's after, and here is before, after, we're good. Okay, here's another one from Ankit Kumar. This one is solid. This is probably my, this is probably the best entry received in terms of things that I you know, didn't have to adjust or revise. So this is obviously like a portfolio section of a well, portfolio section of a portfolio. As you can see, uh, this individual did a lot of different um, challenges that are part of this 30 day UI UX series, which is awesome. Now I did make one change. I kind of felt like the hero section was lacking something. Like I wanted an additional asset or an embellishment, which we already covered. Um, so I did something interesting up here, and I did also modify the card layout slightly here, and you'll see in the type here uh, in my, my revision. So what I did is I added this kind of like embellishment, and when it says all projects, this is a very abstract, I guess you could say representation of like a, a layout, like a screen, like a device layout. And then I kind of added this little shadow inside of it for some depth, but it at least now kind of makes it looks a, a little bit more interesting, so to speak. Um, down here, I modified the first card. So here's the, the original card design, and then here is mine over here. And you can see um, I adjusted the type for the tags, and it has just better typographic visual hierarchy and a little bit more white space all around, making it a, a bit easier to read. So the tags are the least important thing. So I made them the smallest, they're size 12. Um, and then up, up from here, we have the sub headline, which is 18 in a regular font weight. And then up here, the title, the most important element is 21 with a bold font weight. And that way we really establish a good visual hierarchy, typographically speaking, within the card itself. Down here, this is, I believe, the last one. Uh, this is from Tiago. So one thing that kind of frustrates me, um, it, and it's a very quick and easy fix, is whenever you're trying to showcase a layout, um, and this doesn't really frustrate me, because you, you kind of, I, I, get, I get why you would do this, because this is what it will look like on the actual device. Um, but in terms of presentation, I like to add a little white space around things. Um, so that's one thing you're gonna see in a second. And then also, I. There's a lot of borders around here, okay? There's borders around all these, different colored borders right here, a border up here, high contrast borders. So one of the easiest ways to simplify your design is to get rid of that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and check out what I did. Okay, so as you can see, it's greatly simplified. So notice a bunch of lines and borders. And then I do have a border down here, like this is perhaps to like signify a hover state or an active state of some sort. Um, but you can see how I just kind of spaced things out. I got rid of 
you know, various borders and such. And it just makes it a lot easier to navigate and a lot cleaner in this context. So that is it. So this was a big undertaking. I wasn't sure how it would do. And, you know, in terms of each of the videos, because I did almost 30 videos, I did 29 videos in 30 days. I, I, I thought that, you know, in terms of views, it, it, each individual video didn't do great. But I think for those of you who actually followed along, uh, hopefully you gained something. And you could see that, you know, even if you follow along for 30 days, it's not like you're going to become a great designer in 30 days, even with me directing and try to help as much as possible. You know, this is a skill that takes time. It takes years to really get good at. So hopefully that was a nice taste for everybody um, who you know, participated. Next week, I am going to be uploading a video that combines all these 29 days into one single video. So that way, it's just one video. That'll be coming on Monday, I think. Um, and then from there, we'll kind of decide, maybe perhaps together, I'll do a community post, you know, how, you know, what the direction of this channel is going to be focused on um, going on, you know, here, here in the uh, future. So as always, make sure to subscribe. If you all, and by the way, I should at least plug this, I uh, my... Uh, designcourse.com is where you can find my, my premium courses. Um, and so there is one, I'm trying to get my desktop browser out here, move, there we go. Yeah, so there is the UI UX course, uh, which is a 16 hour course. Um, and it really goes into a lot of depth. So you could definitely check that out. There's also other courses for learning CSS, um, advanced front ends, mentorship, coaching, and my upcoming co course, which will be released about a week or two, Framer, which is very fun. So as always, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.